Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. And our What's for Dinner videos come out every single Tuesday. And we are kicking off another week of What's for Dinner with some takeout Italian food. Today is Father's Day and it is Howard's very first Father's Day. And so he wanted to try out this local Italian restaurant that we've been hearing about for years. And so let me show you what we are having for dinner tonight. And by the way, in our household, it is me and my husband and we have a six month old baby. So Howard got an entree. He got um, chicken primavera. And so here is his entree right here. And it came with some bread, which looks absolutely delicious. So it comes with bread and it also came with a side salad and it came with their dressing, which I've heard is supposed to be pretty good. It's like a tomato based dressing. And then he wanted some stuffed mushrooms. I think they're stuffed with seafood. So he wanted that. And then I ordered a side of their garlic rolls, which are right here. And it looks like you get a bunch of them and they really smell good. And then I wanted to try their pizza. So here's their pizza. I thought it was a small, but it actually looks pretty big. And it is, um, it is New York style pizza and it is pepperoni and onion and there's a ton of cheese all over it. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having this shrimp and corn bisque from the Cajun Spoon. And I have um, served this before in other dinners on our What's For Dinner videos. And Howard and I first discovered this when we went to Louisiana. One year we found it at their local Walmart. And then when we got back home, I was able to find it in ours. Um, and it is so good. Really quick preparation, 45 minutes. And all you do, is add in a pound of shrimp, milk, half and half, creamed corn, whole corn, and um, I think I said milk, I hope. Anyway, um, it's really easy to make. Here it is in the bowl, and here it is in the pot that I made it in. And it is so good, so rich, so creamy. You cannot tell that this came from a box. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having these cheesy bread sticks that I picked up from a recent Aldi haul. I will add it to the cards above and also in the description box, but this is something that I picked up for the very first time. And so it just came out of the oven. I ended up baking mine for about 12 minutes because it was really still kind of pale at nine minutes in. And here is what it looks like. It looks really good. Um, and this was $3.49. And let me try to show you the bottom. Because it's too hot right now, I'll make sure to, there it is on the bottom. Um, I'll make sure to let you know what we thought of these, um, but they look really good. And then it comes with two different dipping sauces. It comes with the garlic butter and then a marinara. I'm gonna heat these up in the microwave. And then we are also having a Caesar salad from Aldi as well. It's the Caesar salad kit and it comes with the lettuce, Caesar dressing, shredded cheese and croutons. So here it is and we're just gonna divvy this out when we get ready to eat. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and a complete meal from Aldi. See you guys next time. Hey guys, so I know I said I would tell you in the comments what we thought of this cheesy bread and uh, we just tried it and here it is. Howard took a bite of his. I really like it. Howard says it's okay. I don't know if he's a good person to judge because he doesn't really care for cheesy bread, but I like it and I would definitely repurchase this. So, all right, see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having grilled pork steak and this was in our freezer and I marinated it in this Korean barbecue sauce. It's supposed to be a little bit spicy and Howard grilled it. And then we are also having some fresh grilled Brussels sprouts that I picked up from Aldi during my Aldi haul. And I'll link that video above and also in the description box so you can see what I picked up. And then I also made some green onion fried rice. I just cooked some um, jasmine rice and put it in the fridge to get it all cold. And then I added some green onions to it. And then I was looking through my pantry to see what I needed to use. And this is something that I had in my pantry. So um, I didn't add all the vegetables and meat as you can see in that picture. I just used green onion and added some sesame um, oil to it as well. 
And then I just added this packet of Chinese fried rice seasoning that I've had in my pantry for a while and I wanted to use it. And honestly, I can't really taste anything. Um, I don't taste any anything different. Um, so it's just kind of plain. I don't think I would buy this seasoning mix again. But anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I made a big pot of filled peas and snaps with some ham hocks. So I had the filled peas in my pantry. These are canned. Um, whenever I'm in a hurry or I wanna make something really quick, I'll just use canned beans instead of the dried uh, beans or peas. And they come out just the same. I mean, you really can't tell the difference. I just cooked them for several hours. And as you can see, the broth is really rich and thick. There's the snaps in it, which are just green beans. Um, but I used four cans of the filled peas with snaps. I didn't even think about showing them to you guys. I totally forgot and I put the um, cans outside in the recycle. But here's the ham hock that just broke all apart. So all I did was, I didn't even drain um, the filled peas. So I just dumped four cans of the filled peas in my pot and I had two huge ham hocks that I added in as well. Then I added in some additional seasoning, garlic powder, um, onion powder, garlic salt, um, I used some bouillon cubes as well. I used a, let me show you. So I used this one from Noor. It's a garlic one. And then I used seasoning salt as well. So they're very well seasoned. And I just let them simmer and simmer. I didn't add any additional water. They just, uh, the, the water from the can just kind of boiled out. And like I said, it just thickened up. So I'm gonna serve this over rice. Um, just regular white rice, jasmine, and some cornbread. So let me get everything plated up and I'll show you what it looks like. All right guys, so here are our filled peas and rice and you can see I've got some ham hock right there. I changed my mind. I just do not feel like making any cornbread. So maybe I'll make it tomorrow because we have so many beans. This is going to finish out our what's for dinner this week. Um, maybe I feel like making some cornbread tomorrow night, but this is what's for dinner. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, I hope you do so. And if you like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up and we'll see you guys next time.